Welcome back to GRV Extra as we now get ourselves primed and ready to preview the Group 2 Horsham Cup. I'm joined by Simone Fisher to preview that race once again. But first, Simone, the Sandown Cup, sweet it is, back to back, sensational. Certainly was, James. What a night of racing with the competitions, the giveaways, the crowd, the atmosphere, sensational. It was indeed. And of course, the sweet it is, she's knocking on the door of a million dollars prize money, went to New Zealand, and boy, she was impressive, Simone. She certainly was, but there's some other greyhounds like Fernando Bale, James. Knocking, on the, door knocking well. on the door as well. So I think it was once upon a time, it was only a racehorse that could ever earn you one million dollars, but um, it looks like the greyhounds aren't too far away exactly now. Exactly right. And the other who might be having something to say on the door, and knock, 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 is Dinah Villa. He lines up in the Horsham Cup on Sunday. And what a feel we've got for the Group 2 Horsham Cup. Simone, let's get straight into the box draw, starting with one shared bonus. Uh, looks suitably drawn, plenty of early pace from the red. Greyhound number two being Alan Deek, Meadows track record holder. He oozes class, the only concern the 480 being too short. Ultima Bale led all the way and it was its first look at the track. Greyhound four shared equity, ran the long odds on fave in the Warnable Classic. We'll need the lead. Big Ticket ran a 26.96 best of the night. Six being Caustic Bale, flew home from a long way back running 27-23. And Dinah Villa, not possibly drawn the best out in box seven, but um, all class. And probably the same can be said about Margin Simone, drawn box number eight, does like to rail in the reserves, ride the rails, and Ron Ray Spirit. Well, there we have it, the uh, box draw. What a cracking field. What an even field it is, it Simone. Is. Really, really exciting race. It certainly is, James. Let's take a look at the replay now of number three, Ultima Bale. Like I said, this was its first look at the track. It jumped from box four, ran a 6.36 to the first mark, which I think does put it somewhere up near the lead in yeah. the early stages of the race. And, and the key here, I think, Simone, in the heat was holding Ron Ray Spirit, holding Ron Ray Spirit safely. And what I liked up the home straight, Number one in the heat was West on East, a very strong greyhound who probably took five or six off Fernando Bale at Sandown recently. And uh, and the leader there, Ultima Bale, just kept kicking and held him safely. Yeah, and I think it's uh, a bit of an illusion there. The straight at Horsham is so, so long. For yeah. a greyhound to be out in the lead and, and maintain that, you do need a strong chaser there at Horsham. We see the time, 26.98 for Ultima Bale. First look at the track. I think it impressive. really is impressive and a good chance. And does suit Horsham a railing type of greyhound as well with that last corner? They tend to fan a little bit wide, and, and Ultima Bale seems a greyhound that'll say right on the rail, nailed to the rail, and that's the place to be. Well, James, looking at tips now, I'm going three Ultima Bale to beat number two, Alan Deed. Alan Deed was a finalist in the Sale Cup over the yes. 650 metres. He's coming off two free for all wins at the Meadows recently. Mr. Versatile. He certainly <laughs> is. Number one shared bonus, uh, like I said, probably the leader here, ran a 626, ideally drawn again, known for its brilliant early pace and consistency early. Number one shared bonus, and seven, Dinah Villa, I'm not going to leave it out, but um, Tab fixed odds favourite at the moment, mm. and I just think he might be a little bit of a risk drawn from box seven. He probably has drawn the wrong side of the track, Simone. Look, selections for the uh, Horsham Cup. I'm tipping three Ultima Bale on top. I think it'll be very hard to beat. One shared bonus, drawn well, will rail through. Uh, then I'm going for third, six Caustic Bale, and five Big Ticket, who was the fastest qualifier through, 26.97, but he did have box one drawn the centre of the line on Sunday. I think the other greyhound, James, number six, Caustic Bale. What a run from this what greyhound. Um, enormous. He was so far behind, but um, like I said, that really long straight yeah. for a greyhound that's as strong as him can really wind up at the end there. And um, he, he was a terrific run as he well. He was indeed. And what a day it'll be up at Horsham as well, up in the Wimmera. A couple of hours down the, the Western Highway and you'll arrive at Horsham on Sunday. So uh, gates open at 11.30. They certainly do. And you'll be down there for Sky Racing. Yeah, can't wait. Well, there we go. One place to be Sunday. That is Horsham. Now for the tab market update and of course your chance at home to win the $150 in betting vouchers mm -hmm. thanks to tab, you can click here for the hashtag competition if you're watching on the computer device, the laptop and co. If you're watching from the mobile phone, click the link in the description. It's that easy, Simone. $150 jackpot for the hashtag competition. Make sure you're at Horsham on Sunday. <laughs>